Well, I, I, before Jeff, so has it just been you've been playing NHL and you're Yeah, but not... that's it. I, I'm moving, so everything's in a box. All right. Well, I've been playing NBA 2K18. Yes. Which is the NBA game that we were sent. And boy, did you. Because <laughs> the other NBA games, <laughs> yeah. I have not seen a code for that one yet. I just want to emphasize oh, the, that. The other NBA game. NBA Live 18, <laughs> I have not yet to see. And, you know, I mean, fair play. I have not had nice things to say about that franchise in uh-huh. the past. So I can understand why maybe they wouldn't rush out and send us codes for that. So I haven't had a chance to check that one out yet. NBA 2K18, uh, you made uh, quite a character. I did. Uh, I used their face scan tech with uh, the, with oh the no. app. Continues yeah. to deliver. <laughs> yeah. This, last year, I feel like they did a better job of uh, nailing my face than they did this year. Oh, I don't know. Like, nailing your face is kind of like... Sign me up. In that it mean... seems like someone took a hammer to my <laughs> <Yeah>. face. <laughs> like, literally construction happened on your face. Uh, it, some mistakes seem to have been made <laughs> somewhere along the way. Uh, Can you uh, go into, like, manual mode to make faces? Because you did the picture thing. You can. Uh, but the number of editing tools available to you is somewhat limited. Mm-hmm. Like, the only thing you can really adjust beyond things like, you know, ears and, like, skull, like, height and width uh, is... is that's kind of it. Like, there are a bunch of default faces you can mess oh. with, but you can't really tweak them okay. with, that like, a sucks. great deal of granularity. I, I guess I assumed it was going to be, like, the WWE 2K games where, like, you do the picture, and then you can, like, pick the points and the eyebrows and stuff. So they've and done that, I think, in the past. It feels like they simplified it this year in a way that is not great. That's an important thing. Yeah, I tried, I've, like, I've been all over the, the editing tools for that. I was, like, trying to find something that was, like, can I just, like, push my nose back in a little bit? Can <laughs> yeah. I make it so that my mouth doesn't look like someone, like fucking grabbed it and like a fucking <laughs> Warner Brothers cartoon like dragged it around the planet a couple of times. That's awesome. I want to uh, see this. It's, it's it's I mean look, it's not a complete horror show. It's not like Monster Factory, yeah. but it's not great. Okay. It's, it's yeah. a subtle monster. Oh, but, I love it. I need to see. But I couldn't find an option for any of that. And so it's a little distressing. How, how many times did you try and scan your face? I tried in? it like three or four times yeah. and I that was the best one I got. Wow. Speaking of that, I, I can't remember how it worked in Tony Hawk's Underground because that was the first game I can remember where you could put your face in there but this is on the ps2 before it had the network adapter didn't you have to no it was when they had the uh, was it the network adapter? yeah because by the time underground came around that was post three and three was the first one to use the network adapter oh okay yeah because underground was after four so must i must have gone to a friend's place or something but yeah that's just like mail a jpeg photo of yourself to a website (laughs) yeah it was like it was like upload to an email address and then like somehow that turned into a face in the game i feel like that happened for a while where you went to go to a website and like upload an image like that was after yeah. that for, mm-hmm. for a bunch of games. And you yeah. can still do that in some games. Like WWE, the way they do faces is, you know, you upload it as a decal to their like user uploads thing okay. and then you can just like layer it however you want. Uh okay. Well, I, I will say in in uh in the defense of the what are they calling their face app? I I face don't know. It's app. just it's just the my NBA face 2K slash app. app. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah. the Whatever fucking character, other character was sitting across from the, the team table. owners or something. Every time his blinked, his eyeball <laughs> came through his eyelids. No, yeah, it, was yeah, it was very bad. That's not how they work. That's not how that works. Yeah, it didn't look good. Anyway, <laughs> how's the basketball? The thing is, the basketball is fine. Like the basketball is still good. They they've made some adjustments to things like shot feedback. So like, there's a little meter that shows up every time that shows your timing. That's new. Of a shot. I mean, the way they implement it this year is a little okay. different. Uh, and I think it's generally pretty good. Did 2K have the one that was in the ring? where you were standing or is that live oh. you know what i'm talking about like this i thought the shot thing they was all like kind of blend together okay, after yeah, a sorry. while i can't really yeah. i think i think live had that okay have you played um, the switch version i have not no. so i have not I seen s- that version i saw that this morning yeah. by chance how is it uh de- it definitely the frame rate looks a little low yeah but it looks damn good cool. okay oh. i mean from afar from like not you know, over the shoulder, I guess, is a far. When yeah. you're looking at this way. It looked pretty good. The, the bigger issue I have with this year's game is that it, an issue that has sort of been creeping up on 2K sports titles in general, which is the sort of like leaning into the microtransactions and uh, sort of trying to goad people into buying currency so you can upgrade stuff faster. Uh, this year, the balance feels like the most off it's been. Uh-oh. Uh, I've been trying to level up my player, and I've played like every game that's been available to me from like the start of the season all the way through November at this point, and I feel like I've barely made any progress. Mm. Um, and it's just, it just sucks because you're you're trying to level up and you're playing against like you know much better rated NBA caliber players for the most part, so you can't. Like, you know, I'm playing a point guard, so there's maybe a little bit more I can do by passing the ball around. But, like, if I was playing, like, a shot specialist, I would suck right now. Yeah. And when you want to go on to, like, the, the street courts and play, like, against other players and their created players, 
if people are just buying that currency and leveling up, you're fucked. Like you can't play well against players that are rated like in the eighties and nineties. It, se- it seems like they yeah have blurred that line between the cosmetic because you're using all with VC was it? yeah was, VC is the currency uh, for cosmetics and points for your player to upgrade and also any customization stuff so if you want to buy new gear or hairstyles or anything like that like you have to use that currency for it and they they, so they lowered the price on some of that stuff like within a week of release uh so they already know people are not happy about this shit but it still feels kind of off in terms of balance and i think i mentioned this during a quick look but anytime i think you internally feel like oh have you tuned this game to encourage people to get these boosts like Sometimes we live in the age of uh, of Michael transactions. Yes, so we like, do. Yes, Mr. He's, Michael he's our, transactions. He's our overlord. Uh, <laughs> and so, you know, you either got to come to terms with it. You can, you can try and rebel as much as you want, but you'll get squashed. Uh, Michael transaction has a heavy hammer. He knows where to punch. That Mike. <laughs> yes. He is without mercy. Um, but, you know, sometimes stuff feels like, hey, if you want, if you don't have time, if you have more money than time. Here's a thing you can use. But when it starts feeling like you're tuning games to encourage a normal playthrough to get like an XP booster, yeah. Yeah. or like, hey, can, yeah, you, can you put slimy. the slider back? Sli- turn down the slimy can, slider. Can you put the slider all the way back? What if we just made it so you never progress and you have to just buy upgrades? What if there was no slider? Uh-oh. Like, it sucked. What if there never was a slider? Whoa. It sucked in the WWE games because that career mode was already kind of bad oh yeah so if you add the layer of oh also your wrestler sucks for Mm -hmm. a long time before you can really compete in matches against anyone above a 70 rating yeah and that makes it 10 times worse and the guys that are like 99 like you control aj styles and it still controls really bad so yeah that's the peak that you can hope to get to so when you have your your suck ass rookie wrestler for like an entire year of shows like that's not fun and this like, I, I'd say the progression is maybe a little bit better than that because the actual mode is just better than any of that WWE career stuff. But, like, I just, I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm walking through sludge. Like, yeah. I want to get better. I, I don't need to be a 90-rated player by the end of my first season. Yes. But I need to feel like I'm progressing. And that's the problem is I don't really feel like I'm progressing at much of a rate at all. So I still, still would like to have a bit of a video game there where you don't have to spend your entire life getting better at basketball. Yeah, and I, w- I don't want to have to pre-order the $99 version of this game just to get enough VC to feel like I'm competing from the get-go. Fuck. Nobody gets enough VC. Ugh. This, this just, guy. Yeah. Hey. Hey, thanks. Oh, I get it. Yeah. It's, it's his uh, initial. Yeah, I get yeah. it. Who cares? Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. In the future, we have no initials. <laughs> <laughs> no names. <laughs> no names, man. Just QR codes. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, right. so that's that's my MVP. I'm going to keep playing it, but I just I feel bad about that stuff. I thought what you showed me of the My Player stuff seemed neat when you were going through some of the story stuff, but you had mentioned to me also before the quick look that it was a little more... Yeah, the story's Disjointed. not that good. Yeah, yeah, like it it does it's not much of a plot. Like it feels like they've dialed that way back since the uh the Spike Lee incident of twenty fifteen. You were a DJ. <laughs> yeah, you are a DJ, but DJ like, Vengeance. That's basically an excuse <laughs> really? for them to give you I, I think that was just a joke, but uh, the the DJ oh, thing is it? it's their excuse to give you a nickname so they don't actually have to say your name in all the cutscenes. That's it. They it. said your name. That, it, yes. that was the announcer during a game. They said Navarro. Yes, that was oh, the announcer really? during a game. I, well, that's, yeah. that's like yeah. Yes. I I'm why? But he didn't pick it from a list. I didn't. I just wrote my name in there. And Wait, I think, really? Shut the f- Yeah. Awesome. The was it like a Siri voice? Think. No, it was, it was the announcer voice. So again, I think the thing with that... Yeah. Is I would that love one? it if it was like a robot voice that <laughs> I was think like, it, yeah. here it is, it's Navarro. <laughs> I think <laughs> the last name Navarro has been in that game's audio database for a yeah. while because there's yeah. a guy, there was a guy named Abe Navarro that right. worked at, uh, at Visual Concepts when I worked there and it's... I don't know if he's still there, but he was there for a long time. Right, but the question is, how is it sniffing out your last name? I mean, it's just probably it's looking for it's looking for characters and then like looking for names in that audio database that it already has. You typed in your name, right? For the yeah, typed it in. Yeah, he typed it in. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I thought you were implying your face data. No, 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 no. no. It wasn't. It's not that omniscient. No, I know, but I'm saying like you know, PS4 has real name. That it does. Could have done that. Based off the face data, it would been like nightmare has the ball. Bleeding spaghetti. Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a shot. <laughs> no, no, that, those weren't you. Either. Those weren't you. Your no. face. Your, no. No, your game that, face. No. Uh, it's okay. I get it. Y'all hate my face. Your I get it. It's fine. No, that's fine. It's just, no, it's just your lips are a little big. <laughs> <laughs>
it's not even that they're big. Where's it's that, that this, from? this part of my skull, like my jaw <laughs> area of my skull, has it? just been like I don't, just like it's dragged just pushed out. Forward. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. You're beautiful. In the game, Alex. I look like something mis like like fucking Eric Pope would bring to a four of a panel. That's what I look like. One of those weird three D videos that he's obsessed uh, with. Uh, yeah, and like then he then uh, they have something when he went was it the franchise mode. Was that was that the, yeah, the GM where you play the, the GM, GM mode yeah. where like his player suddenly got, or has like a problem was it a ACL or something? Yeah, like you tear every li ligament in your knee, so your career's over, so you become a GM. So then mm. his character is now off the court in all these cutscenes in a suit, <laughs> limping, <laughs> like well, like giving all these press conferences. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Anyway, the, I played against you in some basketball in that game, and I had fun. Yes, I so, also had fun. The, I, the basketball probably, is still fun. Yes, yeah, probably one of the more important parts of it. But but be be aware. Are those games fun for people who don't follow sports? No, I think okay. the NBA cool. 2K series is especially tough because there's a ton of weird nuance in the mm. gameplay that is really hard. Like if you ever go online, you will just get destroyed by people who've been playing these games obsessively for years. Gotcha. Like Madden, I think, is like a little more friendly in terms of that stuff. I think FIFA can be, but like some of those other ones, not so much. I I don't follow sports. I had fun playing. I always have fun playing. Yeah, we, we've also sports. played you these know, before. That's true. You know more about basketball than I do. Like you were mm. saying, like this is the name of a play, like a player type. Like a oh, point guard okay, or whatever. Right. Well, I've, I've done these with Alex quite a bit. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah. Uh, give it two more years. Okay, great. <laughs> It'll all absorb through osmosis. Yeah. 